So the GAP survey is a terrific tool that's been around for a number of years, and for this year we invested in a new platform to host the survey. So the, the new survey is based on the life cycle of the assignment, which will make it much easier for the clients to go through the survey and uh, complete the questions. And there are more questions and there were uh, more topics than we used to cover in the old survey. In addition, there's more flexible reporting that will allow us to do better analytics off the back of the data. Surprisingly, even though there's been a bit of a downtick in the global economy, we haven't seen a, uh, a big impact in terms of overall global mobility activity. It's notable that in expanding markets uh, such as Asia-Pacific, we see an uptick, so China and Singapore in particular. Also uh, in the Middle East, so Saudi Arabia and UAE, uh, participants indicate that see, they see more global mobility into these regions. Similarly in Latin America, uh, the respondents predicted an increase in assignments to Mexico and Brazil. And while that's the case, still in sort of the, the developed markets, uh, Germany, United States, United Kingdom, we still see a strong, strong movement into mobility and companies utilize that. So about half of the survey respondents indicated that the primary objective of their mobility program was support the broader business objectives of the organization. They also largely indicated that managing the cost of the global mobility program was a very, very high priority for them. And when we're talking about policy trends, so long-term assignment policies are still the main policies utilized by organizations, followed by short-term assignment policies. The biggest increase we're going to see is in international business travelers. Companies will utilize that significantly more. We'll see an increase in permanent transfer policies. And in addition to that, a lot of organizations really diversify their international assignment policies. They look at developmental policies and uh, host-based policies, so a sort of a broad range of policy being applied to uh, fulfill business as well as talent management and retention needs. Some of the things I expect to see more of in the next couple of years are around data and analytics and technology. Um, interestingly, about half of the survey respondents indicated that they also expect to see more use of data and analytics, and only half of them thought they had technology platforms today that really supported uh, their administration and operation of their global mobility program. So certainly going to see an uptick in that over the next few years.